Welcome to my channel. I am Anita Goa. I'm going to take you through a routine that involves the yoga wheel. I personally love to work with the yoga wheel and this is just going to be a little introduction to it and you can see if you enjoy it. Uh, I would recommend that you're a little bit warmed up before you get onto the wheel. So this could be good after a walk, maybe a run, a workout, uh, or maybe do a few sun or moon salutations before you do it. So try it a couple of times, adjust and modify according to your needs. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a really good time. Let me know. I'll see you on the mat. So you need the yoga wheel and you're going to need a block. So just keep it handy next to you so that you can integrate it um, as is needed. So we're going to start in an, um, a wide legged intense leg stretch. So just go as wide as you can. And maybe you're going to need to bend your knees, that's okay, depending on the length of your hamstrings. And placing your hands on top of each other and bending it forward. So letting your head come in between your arms, letting your head drop. Just feeling quite an uh, open, deep stretch into the chest, into the shoulders. Also stretches the backs of the thighs, the hamstrings, and creates lots of openness and space in the torso. Good, and if you can feel good to shift your weight forward and back, that's the beauty of the wheel. <laughs> you can create a little motion if you want to, and even if you want to flex your hand, you can get a bit of a stretch into your wrist there on the right. Yeah, and then draw the wheel towards you and then shift uh, hand position. And when you shift the hand position, it might feel completely different, which is a fun little exploration. And maybe you want to shift your weight forward and back here and see what's happening. How does that feel? Stay with your breath. Good. And gradually come up. Yay, so good. We need to keep the wheel in front of us and just supporting uh, right on each side like this. And then you can just shift your weight a little bit over to the right, sort of a little bit like a, a, a moon squat, a skandasana, just shifting a little bit from side to side using the wheel to support you, but making sure that you don't lean too heavy into it, still letting your legs do the work. But it might support you to feel a little bit more of a connection into your core, and then letting the legs do the work. Good, let's do one more time. Each side, softening the shoulders. Great, then come back to the center. And we're going to go into a low lunge position. And if you want to keep your block next to you here, letting your torso rest onto your thigh, actually, as you press back into the right foot, extending the right arm over your head again, supporting your hand on the wheel, but your second hand can be supported on a block, but it can also rest to the floor if you feel better with that. This is another deep, nice stretch into the side body. I love these. <laughs> love these so much. Good. Then slide the wheel underneath the front of your right thigh to your quadricep. And from there, if you make sure that you're not on your knee, maybe go back and forth a little bit. It's a little um, myofascial release. This can feel quite intense, like it all depends on maybe how tight your 
quadriceps are. Um, sometimes I like to point my foot, sometimes I flex my foot and I press a little bit more back into the heel. And then I'll, of course, get into the calf a bit more there. Right, so you can hold it and then you can lift the leg and extend the leg. So I've done this with the foam roller as well. This one is a little bit different. All right, now you can hold it there. You can keep the right hand on the floor, but you can also elevate yourself a little bit. And then maybe perhaps take a hold of that right foot and draw the heel towards the buttocks. So just explore your range of motion. Remember, it doesn't have to look the way for you as it looks for me. It's going to look different for each of us. The key is that it feels good for you, that you're taking care of yourself in the process. And then you have the option to try to open a little bit more into a backward bend, if that's okay. And then if you want to shift your weight back a little bit more, moving the wheel further up your quadricep. Ooh la la, multi-intenso. <laughs> Good, and then release that, yay. Straighten out the front leg, and then you can take the wheel again, and then maybe keeping the arm extended again as you fold over your left thigh, getting more into the left hamstring, the back of your thigh there. While still stretching, you might feel this a little bit more into your calf, right calf, and right hip. Okay, adjust yourself for a rotated triangle. So I keep my right hand on the wheel, draw the left hip back. My legs are about shoulder distance apart. They're parallel, and then I twist it open to the left. So this is quite an open twist. You might feel like you have a little bit more accessibility here in this one. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, and release. And then if you want to return back to how we started, maybe the hands together this time, there's not a whole lot of space on the wheel. So your whole hand does not have to be on the, on the wheel, but you might feel the stretch a little bit differently here. Good, and then toe heel, the feet together. And we'll repeat this now on the second side. So I'll start here into a low lunge. So I have my right leg in front, just so that I'm still facing you and not turning my back on you. Of course, you could face the back if you want to. Feel free to turn your back on me, that's okay. I won't be offended. <laughs> so the right hand can either be on the floor or onto a block, but see if you can find a position where your torso is resting on your thighs, pressing back into the left heel, extending the left arm over your head. Just let the head drop. Shake your head loose. Let go of anything you don't want to take with you into the day. Yeah, exhale it away. Creating space for anything that needs to be there instead to support you. Good, and then slide the wheel under your left quadricep and see what's the story here. <laughs> and then maybe you want to shift your weight back and forth a little bit, massage the quadricep. Yeah, breathe with it. Breathe with it. And then I like to shift that block over to my left hand and maybe bend and extend the leg if you did that on the other side. And then perhaps take a hold of the foot, draw the heel towards your buttocks, and if it's okay, maybe slide the quad back a little bit, or open it up, yes. Yeah, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 
so good and mindfully mindfully come out of it wheeling the wheel forward and folding over the right thigh so the right hand can be on the floor on your fingertips or on a block and left arm extends using the wheel this is really fun, isn't it? <laughs> My son would say that's a mama joke. <laughs> it's very much an, an Anita joke, yes. <laughs> All right, rotated triangle pose. So I've really changed my rotated triangle pose. I like to keep it much more open. It feels better for my sacrum. And exploring this with the wheel has been quite fun to find a different expression of a rotated triangle pose. I think it's in line with what yoga advocates, right? to find our flexibility in different ways. And release it down. Yay! So good. So good. All right. Step the left foot forward. Inhale halfway. And then from here now, fold it forward. It's like you're doing a little bit more of a narrow downward facing dog or even um, a uh, halfway pose. Right, and see if you can make your way gradually to the floor. Mm -hmm. And you can place your, bol your bolster, <laughs> your wheel behind your back. And we can try to sit up tall. And now this can be you know, quite intense. So you explore everyone's uh, range of motion here is different. So I'll just let you explore what your back bend uh, will look like. So maybe you just want to roll back and forth a little bit and see, like giving yourself a little massage. And from there, we'll move in towards a shoulder stand. So your shoulders rest onto the floor. Just adjust so that your lower back feels comfortable, extending the legs up. And feeling here, I love this one. It's one of my favorite ways of doing shoulder stand. Shoulders feel very supported, open. Chest feels open. I can fully breathe. The chest is moving close to the chin, so you get that little chin lock, stimulating our truth, right? Living from our truth, speaking our truth. Being true to ourselves. Okay, drawing the knees in. And then see if you can gradually slide the wheel down. Yeah. And maybe let your the wheel find your feet, drawing your knees maybe a little bit towards your chest. Let your shoulders soften. Good. Lift your head and roll yourself up. So good. Sitting up tall, separating the legs just as wide as they can be, and then bending it over your left leg, extending the right arm over the wheel, 
and slowly come up and just remember again that this will look different for each of us I have quite a lot of flexibility so this is what I naturally have and we'll do that to the front as well so bending it forward Excellent. Sitting up tall. Crossing your legs. Maybe just put the wheel. Now just take a moment. You can sit. Feel free to recline in Shavasana if you wish. Notice how you feel after that little routine. Feel your breath. Notice if there's a little bit more space within you, around you. Your mind feels maybe more at ease. Your body feels more at ease. And if it does, great mission accomplished. If it doesn't, and you end up doing the routine again, see if you can make little adjustments or big adjustments. And sometimes that's what is needed as we practice, is to keep adjusting along the way. That's the practice. Great. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And let me know if this was fun, if this was really good, and if you'd like to see more wheel yoga routines. Mwah.